to the wonderful Chichley College, which this year celebrates its 600th anniversary. 1422, Henry Chichley got a papal bull from Rome, giving permission for him to build a college for what were known as secular canons. Really, they were monks, and it was a place of learning, a place of worship, and a place where they were self-sufficient and grew their own fruit and veg. They grew saffron, they got a special license from the king. They grew grapes and made wine, and they used herbs to heal the sick. So they were a wonderful little community, very much linked to the church. And in the very same year, 1422, the bead house was also built. We think the beadsmen came down here to garden. There is evidence that they used a walled area um, with a locked door. And we believe this to be the oldest walled garden in the country that still serves the community. Gateway was so pleased to be involved with the Dutchy Barn project. We so enjoyed the journey right from the beginning where the garden was an overgrown, muddy space to what it is today. Over the last few years, we've had many opportunities to get together and enjoy each other's company. Our celebration party in July honoured our late Chairman Steve and gave us the opportunity to present our very special Martin Tyler Award to one of the members to recognise all their hard work and contribution to the garden over the last two years. Thank you Dutchy Barn for all you have done for us. As part of High End Tourism, we're, we're delighted that we have all these wonderful buildings all the historical um, aspects of it and the work that the Chichley Management Centre Committee has put into creating the Deshivan Garden and the Chichley Gardens and they're used for so many of our events and activities, the Chichley Garden Fair, the Santa's Grotto and we've just had our 20th anniversary party which celebrated 20 years of high end tourism working for the community and businesses in, in high end ferries. We're very proud of, of everything and I think people just love coming here. And now we've also got the croquet that we can play and people can come and join us. Uh, I'm Susan Perkins, I used to go to the Northampton Croquet Club. And then Carol said would I set up croquet here, which was ideal. She waited for permission from English Heritage, provided we didn't put the hoops in more than two inches, they've all been measured, uh, we're allowed to play croquet in a lovely setting. I mean, the people I've brought down, they've looked all around. It's a bit distracting, really, because it's such a lovely setting. We've just started, but hopefully the spring, we'll see a lot more people playing. We've had quite a few come already. Roll on spring. Masses of stuff goes on here. We have exhibitions, garden fairs, um, groups of children coming to visit, um, and people just come and enjoy the place as somewhere for recreation, or perhaps just to sit and reflect. We made these seats 10 years ago. The stone came from a local quarry, the timber came from a local sawmill, and we wanted to make them look in keeping with the, the walls around us, and we wanted the oak to be in keeping with some of the oak that's in the building. So it's weathered nice. 10 years have gone by, they're still sitting here, and they're all in, in memory of the people that lived in this town over the years all gone by, so it's good to have a memory for someone and a decent solid seat to sit on. Chichely College was founded 600 years ago. Henry Titchley also built the famous Also Also's College in Oxford. Henry Titchley was founded in 1422. 
Henry Titchley was also responsible for the building of Bead House and Chantry Chapel. Henry Titchley became the Archbishop of Canterbury in 1414. Our school was named after Henry Titchley. Henry Titchley sadly died in 1443. The whole site is owned by the Duchy of Lancaster, so now King Charles III. The Chichely Gardens and the building is managed by English Heritage. They are the guardians. And we're very fortunate at High and Ferris Tourism to have a partnership agreement with them so that the whole community can enjoy it. And we have many, many visitors from further afield. The garden is always open and everything here is always free of charge. I'm with the Hind Ferrers Archaeology and Research Society and what we're doing here is we're just going through some topsoil which was donated by one of the cottages in Chichley Street. This is a scheduled monument so we're not digging here or going down. This is just sifting through the topsoil to see what we can find. Interesting bits of pipe and pottery, what anyone can find in their own garden. The college and its buildings and its gardens go from strength to strength and it's still offering up stories. And we are so proud to have been offered a special tree from the palace um, as part of Queen Elizabeth II's green canopy. So we look forward to planting that in the winter. So please come and enjoy this wonderful place. We really look forward to seeing you.